I got a bag of edamame. This sucker's going down, and Blake is gonna pay. Yeah! <laughs> There is a locust in our house. I'm on a chair. Um, it's on our floor. It's supposedly been dead for a day, but it's not. It keeps buzzing. I didn't even know they could do that or they could fly, but they can. And they are very enthusiastic flyers. So here's the deal that I think every girlfriend, wife, significant other who's petrified of bugs faces at some point in the life of the relationship. Behind door number one, you ask your fearless, capable significant other to remove said bug. Or door number two, you buck up and you get the bug yourself. I opted for door number one. Will you please get the locust? I'm scared. You're not I'm scared. So scared. <laughs> He's gonna eat me. I just got out of the shower and my hair's all wet. I cooked dinner. I'll pay you $10. <laughs> $10. dollars <laughs> Strike out. I gotta come up with a plan because if I don't and that thing is still in this house, I'm powerless and Blake is in control and God knows he will find a way to put that thing in my hair, in my coffee, in something. Let me know below in the comments if you would pick up the cicada or you fully expect your masculine, gorgeous, smart boyfriend to help you out. Crickets. Door number one was not what I had hoped, so I had a decision to make. I've been sitting on this counter for like 15 minutes now. He's not budging, but you know who is budging? The cicada. If something this low is taking me out, I'm going out with Merlot. So a few glasses later, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna buck up and I'm gonna kill the bug. Okay, first I'm gonna move this chair. If it buzzes right now, I swear on everything. Oh my gosh, he looks like he's about to pounce. I know he doesn't look like much to y'all, but to me, he's like as big as a giraffe. Okay, I'm setting the camera up here so you guys can witness the full scene of this heroic act of heroism. I got a bag of edamame. This sucker's going down, and Blake is gonna pay. Yeah! Yeah! I think I got him, but how do I, how do I check? Get right up close to him, the bag of edamame is on his body. I did not think this through. Okay, there's a scene of the murder. Now you come down. Did you get it? I think I did, but he's under the bag and I can't is check. You, are you feeding him? No, I hit him with that. That's a half a pound of edamame. Will you do the rest? Will you just pick him yeah. up now? I'm scared again. I think you got food for your start. Oh my gosh, you're not, this is, you're not my father. <laughs> there he is. I think he's dead. He looks pretty squished. I think those are his guts. Yeah, they were his guts. So fam, thank you for being there for me during at the most horrific moment of my day. The point is that we just took the power out of Blake's hands completely. So feel free to like, comment, and share this video. Tell me how big of a baby I am for not wanting to kill the cicada or yell at me for killing the cicada, but I put him out of his misery and you know it.